Hey everybody, um, today I just got back and uh, I'll show you my new purchase. So after commuting basically behind crazy drivers, I just got this back. Um, it's an International 720. I know it sounds silly, but I know there's a lot of altercations and or alterations you can make. There's a lot of people that are very specific on how to adjust these things. Um, that's where those coulters were for, is to get this thing running. Um, the person before me had these, these were clearly not off the right plow, or they were just painted green, I have no idea why. But, um, yeah, that's what I got. Um, I heard these are a good plow. Um, I just did a little bit of tillage here. I didn't grease it, I know I should've, but I just kind of wanted to throw it in the ground and see how it would do, and I was worried because it's not a five furrow, but just how much I tried tilling because I have clay ground as you can see I'm a little glad I didn't have a five furrow because my goodness was it uh feeling it right it was definitely feeling it and uh if anybody knows I don't know if you can get the manuals online for this or what it did not come with a manual and I really 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 like having these things with manuals because it gives you all those uh alter or all those changes you can make and adjustments so that you can really get it to what it needs to be any piece of equipment i have i'll go through a manual like five six times at least just to get it so that it's to where you want it and what you you spent all that money you want it to run just like you want it to run right really good so anybody knows how to get a manual uh, online for free let me know i know maybe i should be paying for it but Paper's cheap. I know you can get the like the information on like parts. I just don't know if you can get the manual. So I'm super excited about it. I know it's a little purchase, but I've been wanting to be able to till ground for a while. Um, one of the things that kind of stops me currently from kind of growing or where my growing pains are is I currently don't have a way to trailer hay, which is number one. Number two, they, actually, I'll do this by business. So trail, hay is trailering hay is number one for it. Tillage is number two. I didn't have any tillage equipment, and um, a building to keep the quality up is number three. So I um, the cattle is another day, another topic. But those are the things that were really stopping me. So I knew this plow would make a big difference, even if I could get a cheap cultivator, which are really cheap. Plows are not. Plows are actually very expensive. And, um, holy man, I'm just looking at this dirt that I just turned over and, uh, to give you guys an idea here of what we're dealing with, holy man, this is really clay. I did notice a bit of trashing on the top, but I was going really slow. I just wanted to turn this into garlic ground. We'll see if I can do it. I, uh, it's just a small piece, but I was really hoping that I would just basically be able to break it right up, but I will tell you, it was not, like, that's insane, just pure clay. It, w it was feeling pulling it, to say the least. Um, it didn't shatter it, it's, it's crumbly a little bit, but not really, so live and you learn, but... Uh, I was noticing that maybe those trash claws were starting to clog up. I'll show you guys on that and uh, yeah. That's more or less my purchase. It wasn't too big of a purchase, but it's enough where um, because you start from scratch, you you every every purchase is cost you. It costs everyone, but it costs you more when you're small because you can only make a few purchases. And if you make a few purchases and you make them in the wrong order or you make it so that they, um, so that um, here we go. Um, or you purchase something that isn't a good piece of equipment that doesn't work for your operation. It can be a huge hindrance because it's too late. Um, I'll be the first one to admit that baler, my old baler, it had its purpose and it was all right, but it was a huge hindrance to my operation because I didn't know really what I wanted. I knew I wanted to get into it, but I didn't know what I wanted. And, uh, until when I finally figured it out and after bailing with that thing, I knew what I wanted and I could get what I wanted, but it was just, it was a learning curve to say the least. But thanks for watching guys. Feel free to comment, rate, and subscribe. I'd love to hear any information if you guys know about these 720 plows. 
Um, any information you can do uh, give me to help would really be appreciated. I have clay ground, really rock hard clay, or no stones, but just really, really compacted clay ground. So anything you guys can do to help out, I'd really appreciate it. Thanks a lot. Take care. Keep farming. Keep having fun.